As you might recall, a couple of episodes ago, I found a piglin bastion in the nether, and today we're going to be raiding that piglin bastion. I was planning on some other people being with me, so I'm doing this by myself, so I'm a tiny bit nervous, but let's jump into the nether and let's do this. As you can see, I'm fully kitted out, and this is amazing inventory sorting by the way, looks absolutely phenomenal. The way to get to the piglin bastion is obviously towards the kind of jungle biome, mushroom biome place, that's how I found it in the first place. It's actually right next to the portal to the mushroom biome, which is a long, long way that way. <laughs> and here we are. The Bastion. Many piglins belong here. Hello, friends. I'm not here to kill you, I'm just here to raid your Bastion. I guess we could probably enter through this place here. We can hop straight down to here. That makes it a bit easier. Okay. There's a very simple way of getting the loot out of the chest without them getting angry at you. You just place a hopper down, have a look in the hopper, and take any items you want. We got soul speed boots, which is cool. So let's plonk let's plonk down everything that we get in uh, in the old shulker box. Oh god. Okay, so because I broke the shulker box, I'm in big trouble. There is multiple piglins around me. I did not think about that. They're, they're going to get angry with me if I break the shulker box. I could just switch to peaceful every time I break the shulker box. I guess we'll find out what I end up doing when we encounter the next chest. Honestly, I've got no idea where the chests are in this place. Oh, there's a chest down there. Right, what have we got in this chest? Some iron, some chains. Just some chains and some iron by the looks of things. Ooh, that's new. Gilded Blackstone. We've had quite a few close calls already. Too many than I want to admit. Aha! Yes, look! We got pig step! I'm on peaceful right now, but I'll switch back off peaceful uh, as soon as I've finished taking all the loot out of this. Now, supposedly, right, under these blocks, there's sometimes treasure. There is treasure there. Huh. There's just gold. Gold, gold, and some more gold as well. Alright. I'm going to splash myself with fire resistance just in case there's lava around here. There doesn't seem to be any piglins around here though. That's why I didn't get attacked when I broke that gold. Are you serious? I keep, I keep getting gold nuggets from the gilded blackstone. I thought I thought they were supposed to give you... Alright. Any gilded blackstone I see now I'm just going to leave because it's like limited. You can only get a certain amount of gilded blackstone. I know that there's more above me. I just can't get to it. I believe that is it for chests in this area of the bastion. So I'm going to head inside this part. Oh, this seems to be a, a fairly well-rounded entrance to it. Oh, I've been in here already. That makes sense. I know that up here somewhere there's more bastions. So. Yeah, I hear piglins very close. Here we go. Ah! Okay. I'm just going to break the blocks underneath. If we don't find any more chests, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get the banner pattern, which is a bit sad. And there we go. Now I can break this. Break this down here. Break this down here. And switch back to normal mode. Hello there. I'm not sure if there's any more chests in this place. I'll just have to kind of go up to... Ooh. 
I see some stuff down there which will probably be worth getting. For example, gold blocks. So I'm about 90% sure that the whole bastion has been explored and there's no more chests. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's some at the bottom, like right at the bottom of this place. I don't think there's anything. Out. Yeah, I'm about 90% certain there's... Uh, There's no more chests here. Although there is more gold up there. So uh, I can't say no to that. You know what I'm like. Interestingly enough, there's no piglin bastions here. There's also, there's also no piglins around to be angry with me. So that's nice. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's also lava directly above me, so I've got to be careful. I think I have fully explored this Piglin Bastion, and I'm happy that we have got all of the loot. So I'm going to head home now. Not before I do some bartering with these guys, though. Bartering is always the key to life. Come on then, lads, what are you going to give me? Thank you, some soul sand. Potion of fire resistance. Iron nuggets. Crying obsidian. And gravel. <laughs> Fair amounts of, though. Oh, Are you serious? He picked up the boots that he dropped. Do I really have to kill you now for those boots? The answer to that question is yes. Soul speed 3. Right, let me pick that back up. I think I've done all my bartering I want to do. And I've also, of course, raided the Bastion. So, let's go home. Listen, I know it might seem cheaty, but the only reason I switched to Peaceful in that was because I didn't realise that they would get angry when I opened the shulker box. And that just messed up my whole plan. And I didn't have enough pockets to store all of that stuff. But you can trust me on this one. The only time I went on Peaceful was when, was when I was placing down the shulker box, opening the shulker box, and breaking the shulker box. This world has no set difficulty anyway, so I don't think it really matters. We're going to have a lot of gold after this as well. We do have a gold farm, that's how we got all this gold. But I think raiding the Bastion really does have its benefits in, in that, in that you can literally get tons and tons and tons and tons of gold. I've got over 90 gold here. 99 actually, to be precise. We're home. A safe distance away from all of the piglins, it's time to look at what we got in total. There's always zombies around here. And you always have to kill them. Here's the shulker box we got from the bartering with the piglins. It's just some random stuff which isn't really exactly that important. And then the box of, st of loot we actually got from the bastion itself. I guess I should pop a cat on while I'm talking. Uh, we also got a ton of gold, which is amazing. Soul Speed 3 book. Tons of chains. Gilded Blackstone. Iron ingot. Gold ingot, sorry. So. I think we should turn all this gold into gold ingots. A stack and 35. That is 99 gold ingots. And I didn't even need to use any of the golden apples either, so that's fun. I really need to start organising these chests. 
mean, all this lapis, it can be turned into blocks easily. I don't actually have that much lapis because I accidentally turned it all into blue dye once, which is... It was, it was an extremely sad moment. It was right at the start of the stream. I personally think chisel polished blackstone is, in, is an important block, so I'm going to put it in there, although not before I take some of it out here and put it... in here. I don't know why, it, there's just a block to fill and I just filled it. On second thoughts actually, I don't think I should have that in there. But yes, I, I'll i sort all of this stuff out now. What if I put soul speed on these boots? Let's see how much it's going to cost. 27. Is it going to lose any enchantments? I mean, I don't see any reason why not to have soul speed, so... There we go. I put my uh, helmet in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put all of this stuff back uh, where it belongs uh, in my storage room, I guess. I've got no clue what I'm gonna do for the rest of this episode, but uh, I don't know. Also, for some reason, the painting fell off this. Also, I'm gonna have a redstone chest, so I'm gonna grab a single piece of redstone. If you're wondering where my other stuff is, that's normally in my inventory. It's over in the armory. There we go. A redstone chest. Designated for redstone. Okay, uh, I'm going to go and get my other stuff now. I can continue putting away all of those items and sorting them out. And you get to jump cut to the next part of this episode, if there is a next part of this episode. I mean, I'm going to assume there is, but I've got no clue what I'm actually going to do, so that's a bit worrying. I've decided what I want to do for the rest of this episode. We've got to continue this path over and around here to link up with the farm area. So I've literally got every single shovel that I could find and I'm just going to make the ground this wonderful path heading in this general direction to eventually end up linking up over here with this path. Oh. What we could do is have it go through here. Actually, that would be extremely cool. I really wanted to do that now. But first, I gotta sleep. And where better to sleep than my own house? Yeah, this is my house as well. The amount of wheat that we got just from making the wheat field was enough to fill up this entire house. This is fully thick. It's not just one block thick, it's like entirely thick with hay bales. Although we seem to have lost one from somewhere. This place even has storage. It's so cool. Here we go then. got to spam the left trigger just everywhere. Now I try to include a time lapse in every episode and I think now would be a perfect time for one. So, buckle up. It's time lapse time.
there we go. The path has been completed. And, well, it just looks like a regular path, doesn't it? Comes through. This bit looks a tiny bit blocky, though. I want to change some of this. Yeah. That should be fine, I think. It then heads through here, under the archway, and around here. So there's some places which need to be worked on a tiny bit. Around here, up the hill, and then it links up with this path, which is really quite nice, if you ask me. That is literally all I wanted to do in today's episode. It's all I had planned to do, anyway. Mainly because I was away until literally yesterday, so... I have had a very, very, very busy couple of weeks, and I just want to thank you all very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Goodbye.